Once upon a time I was drowning in a sea of messy data. Day after day I struggled to clean and organize the vast amounts of information that I had to work with. It seemed like an impossible task until one day I discovered the power of ChatGPT and Excel. Before discovering ChatGPT, cleaning data in Excel was a painful and time-consuming process for me. The data often arrived in a disorganized and messy format, making it nearly impossible to extract meaningful insights. More than once I would have to manually go through each cell, fixing inconsistencies and removing duplicates. This was a tedious and error-prone task that consumed hours if not days of my time. The situation was made even worse when dealing with large datasets, as the manual process became increasingly slow and frustrating. I often worked late hours, sacrificing my family's time, just to get the data cleaned and ready for analysis. The process was so grueling that it sometimes made me feel like giving up and walking away from the job altogether. But despite the hardships, I persevered and continued my search for a better solution. One day I stumbled upon a revolutionary new tool, ChatGPT. This AI-powered tool promised to make data cleaning a breeze. I was skeptical at first, but after giving it a try, the results were nothing short of astonishing. Data was cleaned in a fraction of the time and the results were more accurate than ever before. This was finally the solution I have been searching for and my work was no longer grueling and painful. What I discovered next changed everything. And I just can't wait to share it with you. But the question is, will you be ready to take your data cleaning to the next level? Hey, my name is Phil Kowalski and today in this video I'm going to show you how you can find the right formulas for your Excel data cleaning tasks using ChatGPT. So what you see on the screen here is basically a standard data set. It is a sales data set that is somehow messed up. If you look at the names column we have first names and last names together divided by an underscore we have the product names somehow messed up and this kind of shit happens quite often if you download data from ERP systems like SAP or so you see that the city and the country are together together with some white space we see that the fulfillment rate is not in a percentage format as we probably want it to be and we see that the price only somehow is recognized as tax because it has a comma as a decimal separator instead of a dot. So let's head over to ChatGPT to clean our very first problem, separate first names from last names. So the first thing we want to probably do is we want to prime ChatGPT a little bit by saying something like this. Act like a well experienced excel user and financial analyst assume i have a data table which holds names in column b can you give me a formula to separate first name from last name in column B. They are delimited by an underscore. I want one new column with first names only. The second new column should be last names only data starts in row number two so you basically talk to it about the problem and describe it as well as you can and then let's see what it comes up with hit enter Thank you. 
Okay, that looks quite promising if you look at it. We also see that the formulas are somehow encapsulated in a formula format, which is quite nice, plus it gives us an explanation. So, despite the fact that we don't want to have it in column C, which ChatGPT probably doesn't know, but that's not that much of a problem, let's just copy paste and see if this works. Copy this code over to our Excel file. Go here, say first name, and then we just copy it over here and see if that works. It should result in Leslie. Well, and it does. Nice job, ChatGPT. Last name. Switch back to ChatGPT. Copy the second formula. Paste it in here. This looks pretty well. Let's just copy it down by selecting both and double clicking down here. Very nice. First task done. Next, we want to have ChatGPT a look at column D, where we somehow have messed up uppercase and lowercase. So, let's go back to ChatGPT. By the way, the initial act like that we just um, um, worded here will, stay, will still be available. So it continues on that path, so to say. I have product data in column D. However, the characters that describe with the product names are messed up. The words are mixed with upper and lower case characters, even within the words. Can you give me a formula that capitalizes, that puts every first character of a word into upper case and the rest into lower case. One thing we might want to consider looking at our data is that we also have two word product names here. So maybe we just tell ChatGPT this. Product names in column D can contain multiple words. Let's see what it comes up with. So, you can use the proper function to convert the text in a cell to a proper case. For example, the first letter in each word is capitalized and the rest is lowercase. Here's the formula you can use. In cell ET, which of course would be a different column for us again, use proper D2. Then you can drag the formula down to the rest of the cells. This will change the text to proper case and make it easier to read and analyze. We copy the code, we get back to Excel, we say products, and then we click into the cell, enter the formula here. It seems to address the right column. Wow, that looks good. So copy paste it down. Next task solved. The next thing is probably a two step approach. First, we have trailing white spaces in front of the content and then we have city and country divided by another white space as well. So we will make this two tasks. I have a city column in column E. In this column, the cities have oftentimes leading white space. Can you Give me a formula to get rid of the white space. And probably I misspelled white space here.
All right, so let's copy this one. Go back to Excel. Let's call this column helper because we first trim only the white space. Let's just go here. That looks promising. And next, we probably want city and country divided and we will probably use something like with the first and last name. Let's just take the help of ChatGPT here in the oh, let's put it like this thank you that worked in the resulting column k i now have cities and countries in one cell separated with white space i want to have a separate column for cities and a separate column for countries. Please provide me the formulas for this. Okay, to separate the city and country into two separate columns, you can use the left and right functions, just like we assumed in the previous example. In cell L2, enter the formula and it's the same formula as before, so we probably use this. Now it goes on once again to explain these formulas, which I pretty much like because that not only solves my problem, it also helps me to learn that stuff. Copy first for the cities. Let's just click into the cell. Looks good. Should result only in Berlin, and it does. And the second one is copy this one. Like this. Yes, sir, it does. So, we copy this one down. Next is the fulfillment rate as a percentage. Fulfillment. All right. Let's just see. In column F. In column F, I have my fulfillment rate as a whole number between 0 and 100. Can you please come up with a formula to divide it by 100? Okay, this one is not so difficult. So I can correctly format it as percentage. Then select the range of cells that you want to format as percentages. In this case, column G. Right click and select Format Cells. Of course, it is not column G, but okay. In the Number tab, select Percentage and choose the number of decimal places you want. Then click OK. All right, that one was probably a little bit too obvious. We just copy this down. And you know what? While everything is selected, we just select the percentage style here and boom, here is our fulfillment rate in percentages. And we still have numbers, as you can see here. Next, we have price. And obviously, as you can see from the status bar, as it only counts the values, it seems to assume that this is text. And I guess this is because of the comma as a decimal separator here. So let's ask ChatGPT for a nested formula that as first helps to get rid of the comma and then turns that text into a number. In column G, I have price. However, Excel seems to recognize this as oops a text because the current decimal separator is a comma instead of a dot can you please provide a nested excel formula that first 
replaces the commas with a dot and then turns the text into a number. Okay, let's see what it comes up with. To replace the commas in a solemn do and then convert the text to a number, you can use the following formula. In cell H2, enter the formula value and then nested within that a substitute formula. Then you can drag the formula down. This formula uses a substitute function to replace the commas with dots, which is correct. And then the value function to convert the text to a number. So let's see if this works. We just go here and say price. Let's see if this works. Wow, this looks awesome. Wonderful. Look, now look at this one here. Now this is a prize. Now that you've seen the power of combining ChatGPT and Excel, it's time to take your skills to the next level. By using this powerful combination, you can save time, increase efficiency and produce more accurate results. I hope this video has been helpful and if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear them from you. Your feedback helps me to create even better content, so don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in Excel and data automation. Together we can revolutionize the way we work with data. See you in the next video. If you like this video, you're going to love these other two. In the left one, we'll be diving into just another Excel automation tool that will take your skills to the next level. And if you are in the mood for something a little bit more lighthearted, make sure to check out our Robots and Dragons video. Don't miss out on the secrets on becoming a data automation ninja.